Hello, this is the Free Computer Consultant. Today we're looking at the Netgear ReadyNAS NB Plus. This is a network attached storage or NAS device. And this particular unit is a 4450-100, which means that it is a unit configured with four 500 gigabyte hard drives. Now these hard drives are Seagate Enterprise hard drives, a very high quality drive. And by default, it is configured in the X-RAID configuration which means that it's going to make the maximum size RAID 5 redundant array that it can. And with four 500 gig drives, that comes out to about 1.3 terabytes. There are three drives that are actually working as data drives, and then the fourth drive is a checksum drive providing the fault tolerance. Now this is the default configuration. There is another configuration that you can have, and it's one that I kind of like for certain uh, data situations, where you can have a RAID 5 configuration with three of the drives, and the fourth drive can be a hot spare that will jump into action should one of the three primary drives fail. Now when you do that, you do cut down the available storage space to only one terabyte instead of the 1.3, and actually it's a little bit less than one terabyte due to overhead. Now this unit has 256 megabytes of RAM and uh, in another video we'll be showing you how to upgrade that to one gigabyte. Certain new, uh, new configurations are available also with one gigabyte already built in, but, but these are not currently. And we'll also be showing you in another video how to change that configuration from the X-RAID to the hot spare configuration or FlexRAID. Now this unit is set up currently, it's just set up, uh, plugged into a power uh, source. We have it plugged into a UPS and it is plugged into the PC with a standard Category 5E cable. And it does work with either a, uh, a straight cable or a crossover cable. You don't need any hub or switch, just plug the PC into it. I wanna show you the, uh, the actual drives on the front. You can see it's pretty straightforward. Flip open the door, here are the drives. They pop out quite easily. The unit has a power button on the front, four drive activity lights, and we'll show you if the drive is, uh, it happens to be down or, or if it's absent. You do not have to have four drives in this unit. And here's a backup button, which by default will back up the contents of the drive to an external storage device plugged into the USB connector on the front. That can be changed, of course. You can't see it on the camera, but this display down here is an LED uh, display. Uh, it does show the IP address of the unit currently and the available storage, which is really kind of a handy, handy uh, device to have. Now on the back of the unit, I can get it turned around here. You can see we've got the uh, network interface. It is gigabit interface. And there are two additional USB connectors, which can be used uh, for additional devices that can be plugged in and this unit will actually manage them as storage or to back up the data on this unit too. Now one of the things they don't make uh, crystal clear in the getting started guide is how to connect this unit initially and get configured. Uh, they say plug it into the network and plug your PC into the network and yes that works but you don't really know what's going on. If you plug this unit into a network with dynamic uh, ad addressing available or DHCP available, this unit will pick up a DHCP address. If it doesn't find one, it will become a DHCP server itself with an address given to itself of 192.168.168.168. And then the PC that you have plugged into it will pick up an address of 192.168.168.1 and you can connect and get up and get going. Uh, it's kind of nice to know that because when you're just plugging it in, you don't really know exactly what's going on. And then of course that status panel on the front, which again I'll zoom to if you can't really read on the camera, does show the address of the unit. And then once you have that all connected, there is a uh, really simple uh, software called Radar that you install on the PC for the configuration. We'll show that in just a moment. One more thing I would like to show on this unit is just exactly how easy it is to uh, change the drive, take them out. So I'm going to show you here, you just pop open the front door, push a button, pick up the lever, slide it out, and here's your drive. As you can see, it is the uh, serial ATA type interface on the drive. And again, these are the Seagate Enterprise high reliability drives. Very nice setup.
Here I'm on the PC that is connected to the ReadyNAS unit and uh, it was already turned on and as we type the IP config command you can see I did not have a good IP address that 169.254 shows it really has no address and it's looking for one. So just by issuing the command IP config space forward slash renew the ReadyNAS device gave me this, this address you see with a default gateway pointing to itself. So we're connected to the unit and ready to go. We'll go over here and launch the radar unit. Unfortunately, this doesn't uh, this window doesn't resize, so we'll have to kind of pan just a little bit. But you can see it's found my ReadyNAS unit, and it gives you the ad the host name, address, uh, disk information, uh, fan information, and the uh, firmware version is currently running. If you click the setup button, you get a a browser here and this works with Mozilla Firefox and it wants uh, some authentication. Now by default the password, uh, username and password is admin and you can kind of see the roots of uh, this product because the password is infrant1 that's I-N-F-R-A-N-T-1 and where they get that is Netgear actually bought this technology from a company called Infrant Technologies. and you can change the, the password if you like uh, once you configure the unit. Now here you can see the uh, welcome screen and there are just a lot of different configurations on here. It gets very uh, uh, detailed what you can do with it but by default it just works and, and that's the very nice thing about it. So you can see here uh, again the host name, the model name, uh, serial number, firmware version, memory, MAC address, IP address, uh, gateway DNS and in here uh, the type of uh, configuration of the drive. It's an X-RAID and there are four disks and you currently have 0% uh, of about 1.3 terabytes used. And if you scroll down just a little bit, there's some advanced controls, some setup wizards, and at the bottom I actually have some, uh, some more status here, volume, disk, fan. Really very very nice uh, unit here and the, the firmware is upgradable. It will go online and, and search for upgraded firmware and perhaps we'll have that in a future video as well. But that's it for now. wanted to show you this uh, basic setup of the ReadyNAS NV Plus from Netgear, formerly Infront Technologies. Very nice unit and for more videos and more information on uh, troubleshooting and, and using your PC please visit my website www.freecomputerconsultant.com. Thank you.